The frigid landscapes of the Ice Age were dominated by an array of formidable creatures, each adapted to survive and thrive in the harsh conditions of a world encased in ice. Among the apex predators that ruled this frozen realm, the feline prowess of certain species stood out as unparalleled. The majestic and powerful cats of the Ice Age were not only marvels of evolution, but also key players in the complex ecological tapestry of the time. From the robust Smilodon to the agile Homotherium, these ancient feline overlords prowled the icy wilderness, leaving an indelible mark on the pages of Earth's history. In this video, we will delve into the world of the most powerful cat species that lived during the Ice Age, exploring their unique adaptations, predatory strategies, and the crucial roles they played in shaping the prehistoric ecosystems they inhabited. Before we begin, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. With that being said, let's begin! Giant Cheetah The giant cheetah belonged to the same genus as our modern-day cheetah, and probably looked very similar, but it was much bigger. At around 120 to 150 kilograms, or 265 to 331 pounds. It was as large as an African lioness and was able to take on larger prey than its delicate modern-day counterpart. The giant cheetah was also adapted to fast running, but there's some debate on whether it could run as fast as the modern cheetah due to its heavier weight, which, according to some, probably made it somewhat slower. Others, however, have suggested that the giant cheetah having longer legs and a bigger heart and lungs, could probably run as fast, or even faster than the cheetah does today. That's over 115 kilometers per hour, or 72 miles per hour. The giant cheetah lived in Europe and Asia during the Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs. It went extinct during the last Ice Age. European Ice Age Leopard Panthera pardus spelia, sometimes called the European Ice Age Leopard, or late Pleistocene leopard, is a fossil leopard subspecies which roamed Europe in the late Pleistocene. The youngest known bone fragments date to about 32,000 to 26,000 years ago and are similar in size to modern leopard bones. The European Ice Age leopard is thought to have resembled a snow leopard or Persian leopard in fur pattern. Its skull was medium long and its characteristics are closest to modern Persian leopards. The only depiction of this leopard in the Chauvet cave shows a coat pattern similar to that of modern leopards. It is unclear if the spots were organized in larger rosettes like in modern Persian leopards. The earliest known European ice leopard fossils are dated to the early Pleistocene and are estimated about 600,000 years old. They were excavated in the Grotte du Vallonnet in France and near Mauer in Germany. Dinophilus the Dinophilus is a genus of saber-toothed cats that belong to either the Smilodontinae or Maelurini tribe. These extinct creatures inhabited parts of Europe, Africa, Asia, and North America between 5 to 1.2 million years ago. They existed during the early Pliocene and Pleistocene periods. In size, they were between a modern leopard and a lion, with most about the size of a jaguar, 70 centimeters tall, and up to 120 kilograms. They were medium-sized, but powerful cats, with a pair of prominent saber teeth. The front limbs were particularly robust compared to modern cats. Even the jaguar lacks the robust build displayed in Dinophilus. Dinophilus hunted animals including mammoth calves, old and young mastodons, hominids like Hobo habilis, and other animals. However, examination of carbon isotope ratios in specimens from Swartkrons indicates that they probably did not hunt hominids, instead preferring grazing animals as their main prey. Xenosmilus Xenosmilus is a relative to Smilodon, but instead of having long, blade-like fangs, it had shorter and thicker teeth. All of its teeth had serrated edges to cut through flesh and were more like the teeth of a shark or a carnivorous dinosaur than the teeth of modern-day cats. Xenosmilus didn't strangle its prey as cats do today. It only had to bite off a huge chunk of flesh from its victim and wait until it bled to death. A Xenosmilus's kill was much bloodier and messier than that of any big cat you might see at the zoo. 
Zeno Smilus was a very big cat by today's standards. At 180 to 230 kilograms, or 397 to 507 pounds, it was as big as most adult male lions and tigers, and was much more robust, with shorter, stronger limbs and a very powerful neck. The remains of this cat have been found in Florida, along with those of giant prehistoric peccaries, which were seemingly its favorite meal. It lived during the Pleistocene period, but no one knows exactly when it went extinct. Whether it encountered humans or not is anyone's guess. Giant Jaguar Jaguars today are rather smallish cats if compared to lions or tigers. They usually average 60 to 100 kilograms, or 132 to 220 pounds. And the largest males, recorded from South America, were around 150 kilograms, or 330 pounds, about the size of an African lioness. In prehistoric times, however, both North and South America were home to gigantic jaguars, belonging to the same species as modern-day jags, but much bigger. These giant jaguars also had longer limbs and tails than jaguars living today. Scientists believe that jaguars used to be open plain denizens, but that competition with American lions and other big cats forced them to adapt to more forested environments, where they developed their modern short-legged appearance. Cave Lion The cave lion was a subspecies of the Panthera leo. This skilled hunter was one of the largest cats of its time much bigger than our present-day Siberian tiger and hybrid tiger, with the males weighing between 270 kilograms and 320 kilograms. The cave lion received its common name because large quantities of its remains are found in caves, but it is doubtful whether they lived in them. They probably preferred conifer forests and grasslands, where medium-sized to large herbivores occurred. Fossil footprints of lions, which were found together with those of reindeer, demonstrate that lions once occurred even in subpolar climates. The presence of fully articulated adult cave lion skeletons deep in cave bear dens indicates that lions may have occasionally entered dens to prey on hibernating cave bears, with some dying in the attempt. These active carnivores probably preyed upon the large herbivorous animals of their time, including horses, deer, reindeer, bison and even injured old or young mammoths. Some paintings of them in caves show several hunting together, which suggests the hunting strategy of contemporary lionesses. Its extinction may have been related to the Quaternary Extinction Event, which wiped out most of the megafauna prey in those regions. Cave paintings and remains found in the refuse piles of ancient campsites indicate that they were hunted by early humans, which also may have contributed to their demise. Surprisingly, this cat did not have a mane like the present-day lion, as indicated by Paleolithic cave paintings and clay busts. Homotherium Homotherium was one of the most successful felines in prehistoric times. Found in North and South America, as well as Europe, Asia, and Africa, this cat could adapt to a variety of habitats. This pack-hunting cat adjusted to fast running and active hunting mostly during days. That is how he avoided competition with nocturnal predators. Although Homotherium is not very famous for its size, some fossil remains of a scimitar cat, unearthed recently in the North Sea, suggest that they could reach 400 kilograms, or 882 pounds in weight. Being larger than modern-day Siberian tigers, they could hunt mammoths, but also chase fleet-footed animals, thanks to their ability to run at high speed. Nandong Tiger the Nandong tiger is an extinct subspecies of tiger that lived in what is now the Sundaland region of Indonesia in the Pleistocene epoch. The few remains of the Nandong tiger suggest that it would have been about the size of a modern Bengal tiger. However, other specimens suggest that it was larger than any modern tiger, although Raoul Valvert later estimated the head body length to be between 1.72 and 2.3 meters, or 5.6 and 7.6 feet while the total length was estimated to be 2.6 to 3.5 meters, or 8.4 to 11.4 feet, both taken in a straight line. The minimum weight for females was estimated at 143 kilograms, or 315 pounds, with males weighing up to 368 kilograms, or 811 pounds, with an exceptional specimen weighing up to 400 kilograms, or 880 pounds. American Lion 
a probable ancestor of our present-day lion, once roamed the continent of North America. This predator was huge, more than four-thirds the size of any modern lion. Standing four feet high, this predator had a huge head and long legs. Surprisingly, this big cat weighed less than expected for something its size, between 256 to 351 kilograms. For paleontologists, these lions are a source of debate. How they are related to other big cats is uncertain. Recent genetic testing suggests that American lions evolved from Eurasian cave lions that crossed the Beringia land bridge into North America. The speed and bulk of these animals helped them to catch large prey. American lions hunted other Ice Age animals, including camelids, giant ground sloths, bison, and even young mammoths. Scientists do not know if the American lion hunted by itself or in groups. Regardless, the American lion was very successful. Fossils have been found from Canada to as far as Chiapas, Mexico. With this range, American lions likely made it to the Tularosa Basin in New Mexico, which is today home to White Sands National Park. Smilodon Perhaps one of the most famous prehistoric mammals and the best-known saber-toothed cat, the Smilodon was more robustly built than any extant cat, with particularly well-developed forelimbs and exceptionally long upper canines. At least three species were living in both North and South America. The smallest species, Smilodon gracilis, was about the size of a modern-day jaguar, while Smilodon fatalis was as big as a lion. However, the South American species Smilodon populator dwarfed both of them. Adult individuals typically weighed between 220 and 435 kilograms, or 485 to 960 pounds, although some exceptionally large specimens may have exceeded this range. In terms of length, they could reach up to about 3 meters, or 9.8 feet, from head to tail. As for height, Smilodon's populator stood about 1.2 meters, or 4 feet tall at the shoulder. Smilodon was not as agile as modern-day big cats, but it was immensely powerful, with thicker, stronger limbs and neck than modern-day cats, and particularly long claws to hold on to prey. Its fangs could reach 30 centimeters, or 12 inches in length, and were perfect for causing mortal injury to mammoths ground sloths, and possibly any large animal unlucky enough to be ambushed by this super predator. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.